Welcome to State of the State. I'm John Calavalli hosting this program with our guest, Mitchell Kaplan. Our guest is a musician, to be more exact. He plays the flute and saxophone. He has performed in many jazz bands with some of the most notable musicians, and I mean big names. But most importantly, he has played with the Aristocats. Special <laughs> note, <laughs> the leader of the Aristocats yeah. is Lloyd Kaplan, who is also Mitchell's father. Lloyd has recently retired as the leader of the Aristocats, and Mitchell Kaplan has taken that position as leader. And the Aristocats will be joining us in the not too distant future for an hour program playing jazz and swing and who knows what else, Mitchell? <laughs> who knows what else? I can't tell you. Uh, Mitchell is also a music teacher, both as a self-employed teacher and as a substitute teacher. And in the past, he's worked in several school systems um, teaching uh, art and music. Uh, now you just have, if I understand correctly, your private practice. Right. Okay. Correct. Um, our visit with Mitchell, uh, he's going to share some of his paintings with us and may also share a little music. So Mitchell, welcome to State of the State. Thank you. And is there anything that you would like to add to introducing yourself? Oh my gosh, well, wow. <laughs> um, well, thank you, John, for having me, first of You're all. You're welcome. I really appreciate it, um, and uh, I, I know that um, you and my dad know each other very well, and, um, and, uh, and I, I appreciate all your, your, your work with, with his books, he, he, you know, and, and he, you're, you're an amazing person. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, is there anything more you want to talk about uh, yourself with? Because you oh. just told me something mm. that I did not know <laughs> about you. You served yeah. as a judge yes. for music students. Yes, I did that for over 20 years. I, um, I judged uh, Allstate, um, and I was for both the classical and jazz. Um, I judged everything from bassoon, uh, flute, clarinet, saxophone, um, and oboe. And uh, so I, I judged all those instruments for the state of Rhode Island and for Massachusetts and Connecticut as well. Wow. Yep. Um, I did that for over 20 years, and I was very excited um, when I did that. I learned a lot, you know, uh, over the years. Um, it, it trained my ears to be better as a musician, um, and um, it, it, was, it was a lot of fun seeing the, the kids' faces, you know. And it's a challenging thing to do because I've yeah. actually done that myself. Yeah. Uh, uh, judging students' performances uh, uh, in, in various different settings. And Absolutely. It, it, um, it really yeah. makes you look at things differently. Like you said, yeah. your hearing of music has improved right, uh, right. as a consequence. Right, 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 absolutely. And, you know, yeah. uh, he just mentioned uh, a book that his father is in. Yeah. And uh, this uh, is a copy of um, uh, a book uh, by um, uh, fellow musicians. Uh, it's called The Treasury of Rhode Island Jazz and Swing Musicians. Yeah, Tom and Shaker. on this particular page, where my hand is here, is a picture of the Aristocats and yeah. his father, 
and some of the other Aristocats are there. Yeah. But that's not all, Mitchell. Yeah, I'm that's on not the next all. page. On the next page <laughs> is Mitchell Kaplan. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so, so around here, we like to blow the horn of people we, we, we like. Thank you. <laughs> now, Mitchell, you brought yeah. your saxophone. Yeah. You brought your flute. Yeah. Uh, uh, I know you want to get into uh, sh showing some of your uh, paintings, yeah. Um, uh, but I I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, I thought that um, I heard you say or your father say that uh, you experienced the shutdown due to COVID nineteen, mm -hmm. and during that shutdown, mm -hmm. you began to explore. More painting. Exactly. Did, did I understand that correctly? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Can you just tell us a little bit about yeah. that experience for yourself? Sure, sure. So I, I started out as, um, uh, you know, teaching art for 30 years. And, you know, um, it, it was... It wasn't as serious. I didn't, you know, I didn't take it very seriously. Um, I wasn't, you know, showing my works or, or actually going out and painting. You know, um, I did anything, anything I did was in the classroom mm -hmm. or for the, um, or for um, the elderly uh, in, in the Alzheimer's units. I, I also taught in, in, in that re respect. Um, and I did that also for for the same amount of years i was back and forth between schools and and alzheimer's units in different places but, but of course during this covid shutdown right now then, you were not performing as a musician right i lost all my gigs yep i, I in just the the month of july i lost like 15 gigs and uh with the aristocats actually um, and uh, we were very um, upset about all that, but, but what are you going to do, right? So um, the, the thing that I learned was uh, you got to make um, something great out of something bad. And, um, you know, lemons with lemonade or whatever. And um, so I, I began painting. Uh, I went to a class. And believe it or not, uh, at the library in in, uh, um, in, in East Providence, and um, at Fuller Memorial Library, and below, it was crazy. Uh, I, I enjoyed it so much. I, I couldn't believe it, and I got such attention from from what I had done. They were like, oh, you should paint, you should sell it, you should, you know, and, and I started thinking, the wheels started turning, and I started painting, and before you know it, people were saying, oh, I like that, I like that, and so, um, and I ended up putting them on Facebook, which uh, I wanted to, to tell you the links, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'll give that information yeah. to our viewers, and yeah. you know, uh, uh, Mitchell, you, you, you paraphrased. Yeah something that the famous psychoanalyst, Harry Stack mm. Sullivan, mm. who was a, a, a colleague of Sigmund Freud, mm. and he developed the notion of the benevolent transformation. Mm -hmm. That's what you just said. Mm. You made out of a bad situation right. a good situation. Right. Wow. Yeah. You, wow. Yeah, you, you got to do that. You got to you got to transform yourself um when 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 you lose everything, you know, you got to find something to to um turn around and and re remake yourself. You know? And you did. Yeah, well, I'm trying. <laughs> so what yeah. do you want? you want to play a little music or do you want to get right sure. into your... Sure. Okay. What, whatever you'd like. Uh, um, yeah, maybe, so we're, uh, we're going to hear Mitchell play yeah. the saxophone. Okay. He's going to play one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, in fact, he even asked me to choose among mm -hmm. a couple. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is my choice. Yeah. If you don't like it, blame me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're going to give uh, Mitchell a chance to... Yep. Get up. Yep. And um, and when you're ready, play. Okay. <laughs>
Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> One of my favorites. Thank you. Um, and, and you correct me, Mitchell, uh, that was written by Satchmo, wasn't it? It was. Yes. Yes, yes, yes it was. <laughs> yep, he was. He was beyond one of my favorites. Um, I, he just, the soul he had when he sang and when he played, and oh, I wish I had. And in my opinion, no one sings it the way he mm. sings it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you want to get into some of your paintings? Sure. Um, yep. Um, and then I have my flute, too. Oh, yeah. Well, yep. we'll, uh, we'll always... have a, a break where we'll yeah. have some flute music, and okay. then we'll get back to the uh, yeah. uh, paintings as well. Now, sure. you have a, a, a number of them, mm -hmm. and I have them uh, as small images here, but yep. the, this one here is the Lonely Seagull. Yes. Yes. Now, uh, Mitchell, mm -hmm. when... When I see something like that, right. I often say, where was your head in your heart when you painted that? Well, this is in Maine. Ah. This was in Maine um, on vacation. Uh, I painted this, and um, I tried to get the, with the grays in the, um, in the um, mist, uh, the, the feel of, of what it felt like. Um, you know, to to be in Maine. Yes. You know, and it, I, I I tried to capture that that emotion. Is that one of your favorites? It is. You know, you're not supposed to a ask yeah, an artist yeah, things yeah. like that. <laughs> but yeah. Is that one? Of well, them? it's it's one of them. Um, I, I the other ones are are actually a little more of my favorites. Uh, but this this was this is a good one. Yeah, yeah I like this one a lot. Um, this this is a, a fun one that I, I enjoyed it. It reminds me of my vacation when I look at it, and yeah. and uh, you know, and it's always sad to see when someone buys it that you know because <laughs> you have to part with it. Yeah, you have to part with it, and you're like, ah oh, man, you know. But uh, yeah, it was a good one. So that's that's my lonely seagull, and that has a little that has glass on it. So yes. I will I will show yeah. the image that I have that will take the glare off of that. Oh, okay, yeah. And the, the same with this. Now this yeah. is the frog. Yes, the frog, and the lilies. On the lilies. Yes, yes. Okay. And um, this is a um, one of my best sellers. Uh, I sold uh, many of these. Wow. Um, uh, yeah, about five, five or six of them. And um, uh, this, is, this is a fun one to do. Uh, in fact, I, I had a, a painting party where, um, where I, I painted the, um, these and, and taught them how to, how to do that, how to paint this, this particular. It was fun. But uh, uh, I don't know if you can see the frog. The frog is right there. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see within yeah. the... Well, well the, 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 yeah. the glass is, yeah. is uh, somewhat of a problem. But I'll, I'll okay. put the original right. uh, uh, a picture of that in. Yeah. It, it will have a better image of it. Mm. And uh, did the, uh, the Kermit the Frog family buy any of those? <laughs> uh, Sesame Street? I don't think so, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of um, characters that yeah. bought them. Yeah. Da -da -da. Okay. To say the least. Yeah. And this is the yeah. sunset. Yeah. This is the sunset. Um, I learned this in a class um, uh, that, that I you took. were taking. Yeah. yeah, 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 that I was taking. Um, I, I started many classes. Um, uh, one of them is um, through Attleboro. Um, there's well, a, let's, let's move yeah. this a little bit over so they yep. can see you as okay. well, Mitchell. Yep. This is a, um, a uh, this was uh, at the Fuller Memorial though. But I am, I'm taking a, a, a wonderful class uh, with, with in Attleboro. And uh, it's, it's teaching me how to refine. And, and um, I wanted to, to do more realistic things um, besides just doing, you know, what I know how to do. 
You know, yeah. you always want to grow as a, an artist, no matter what it is, what platform, you, you know, w whether it's music or jazz, you want to grow as an artist. Yeah. And so by doing so, you, you always go for the harder things, uh, things that are out of your grasp. And you, you just practice and you practice and you practice, and that's how you get better. You know, I've seen that with a family member of mine who has been painting, well, she's 93, so she's mm -hmm. been painting, painting uh, since childhood. Right, right. And it's been with her all those years, yeah. and she's magnificent. Yeah, I bet she is, yeah. And, and you know, it's never too late to start. Amen. You know? Yeah. Um, you know, people always ask me, I want to learn to play the saxophone. Well, I had a guy who started when he was in his 90s. Started when he was in his 90s. Wow. And, I mean, he, he lived for only a couple of years afterwards, but he was the happiest man in the world, you know? And, and he thanked me, um, you know, uh, as he was getting iller, you know, and, and, and he said, I can't pick it up anymore. But, but, you know, for those years that I did it was the greatest thing. Uh, I, I believe that music is man's greatest invention. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, let's see yeah. another one. Okay, one more. And, uh, all right, this is, this is called The Rabbi. This is, this is, I consider my masterpiece so far. Uh, this is, this, um, I like the, um, the, the feel of the, um, of the talus. And, um, and it really, um, the rabbi, I think, uh, it really came out fantastic. Uh, it's exactly the emotion that I want to portray. Ah. You know, um, and uh, I think this is impressionism. It's not realistic looking. I mean, it, it's pretty close, but it's it, it has my my own little feel to it. Yes, yes, you know? I, I agree. Yeah. yeah. You know, and so later on in life, in, in my life, I want to learn how to um, how to do more realistic things too. I like this style a lot. Um, I'm a big fan of Van Gogh and Cezanne and uh, Matisse. I'm a big fan of them. Um, but um, you know, you again, you 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 study the masters and then you you. Um, you go beyond them. Well, uh, you talked about realism, mm. and uh, for me, that was the most challenging thing for me. Mm. Uh, it was so challenged that I moved to architecture. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it was much more easy for right. me to manipulate wood than yeah. it is to manipulate paint. <laughs> yeah, oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, architecture is, is it's just amazing. Frank Lloyd Wright, wow, yeah. you know, his stuff, man, is just outstanding. But uh, it, it's, uh, that was my little footnote. Yeah. But we're about halfway through, Mitchell. Okay. Do you want to do a little flute playing? Sure, sure, absolutely. Yep. Do you want me to stand for this, or? It's, if you're comfortable sitting. Sit, okay, sure, sure. sure. Okay, so this is um, Amazing Grace, and, and I do a, um, a, a tribute to uh, Hubert Laws, Hubert Laws, and he did this version of this, of Amazing Grace.
Mitchell, you brought me back mm -hmm. in time. I couldn't help but think about my daughter playing hot cross buns. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you got to start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. And, yeah. and the thing is, you, you, once you start, you have to stick with it. Uh, believe it or not, Mitchell, we have yeah. five minutes wow. remaining. Wow, okay. Uh, so uh, let's pick out a few more of your uh, paintings. Well, I have uh, that one right there. Uh, yeah, well, let me see. Can we, can we get at that, Dick, now? Okay, yeah, we're looking yeah. at that now. Uh, do you want to talk a little yeah. bit about it? Yeah, this is a, um, this is a uh, landscape. Uh, my first big one. This is... Uh, it is big. It, yes, it's very large. Um, it's about, I think it's about nine by, I would say, what, 13 or something like that feet, um, or 12 feet. And it's um, one of my biggest, uh, my first one that I ever had to uh, challenge myself with. Again, I always challenge myself with uh, things that I, I'm afraid to do um, mm -hmm. and, and uh, step into it and, and go for it. Um, I, I learned the hard way that you have to spread your, your um, you have to spread your, your um, pain and, and, and make, it, make it go further and, and um, learn how to um, fill the whole canvas mm. with, with um, uh, emotion. And not just one little part, but um, a lot of it. Um, as you can see uh, in the left-hand corner, there's, um, there's clouds, like this dark cloud. Yes. And it's, and it's, there's the emotion of, of that part. Um, but on the right hand side, the sun is, is peeking through. Yes. And yet, there's, so there's, there's always hope. <laughs> 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 Even for me. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. It's hope for me. <laughs> I didn't know you were so philosophical, <laughs> Mitchell. Mitchell, yeah. it was yeah. a pleasure having you Thank on you. State of the State. Uh, I hope you folks uh, watching uh, have enjoyed this. Thank you. And please join us again next time for the next edition of State of the State.